The West Coast is a far cry from National Church Residences' rural beginnings in the foothills of Southern Ohio, but it's here in scenic Pacifica, California, just feet away from the mighty ocean for which the city is named, that the latest chapter in NCR's history has been written. Ocean View Apartments, an embattled 100-unit, affordable senior apartment community nestled comfortably by the beach, marks a turning point for the nation's premier not-for-profit affordable housing organization, if not for the industry itself. In the fall of 1998, Ocean View's owners had plans to turn the building into a market-rate facility, which meant that the existing elderly residents would be rendered virtually homeless. For the low-income seniors who plan to spend their golden years just a stone's throw from the Golden Gate, the transition to market rate rent was an impossible bridge to cross. Enter Pacifica City officials, the local media, and NCR. Really didn't see this problem coming. We got hit by it. We were surprised by it. I like to be able to sit here and tell you that we planned for this and we had an action plan in place to deal with it, but we were really scurrying around trying to respond to a crisis. Our seniors of Ocean View got eviction notices taped to their door at 2 in the morning and we just kind of took it from there and tried to help them. Well, we're in a very tight housing market here. Rents are going out of control and Ocean View was no exception. The new owners of that building were looking to convert it to market rate housing rather than subsidized housing for seniors. And when our seniors got the eviction notices, the basic climate was panic. A lot of very angry, very confused, very troubled people just didn't know where to go. For the hundred people that live there that need an affordable place to call home, there really wouldn't have been any place for them to go. Our residents were panicked, and rightfully so, because they really didn't know what they were going to do next. We really didn't have plan B to be able to tell them. We had a pretty intense residence meeting at the community center across the street, and we had a city council that stepped up right away and promised the people at that very meeting that um, there's no way to be evicted. We pretty quickly learned there were a lot of life lessons along the way, but one of them was we learned to look outward for partners. Um, I've been fortunate to know National Church residences for you know, a number of years. I've been on the board of one of their nonprofit subsidiary corporations since 1984, 85. And when we first contacted NCR, they were very interested in this problem and interested in lending their expertise to helping us get it solved. Well, this use of eminent domain was kind of a new enterprise. And for us, it kind of became a, a struggle of either it would be a new horizon of community service and we'd get this thing done, or we'd be complete public failures along the way. At some point, we gave up caring which. We were just knew we were in this fight and we were going to get it done or we were going to fail. And um, at some point, it didn't matter anymore. Well, the use of eminent domain is a pretty closely head, held tool of a city council. And the council made that decision after they decided there was no other way to get this thing resolved. At one point, the eviction notices had been lifted and the action had been forestalled, but the city council wanted a permanent solution to the problem. They didn't want to relive the nightmare. You can't get into one of these transactions with a faint heart. You've really got to be committed to making affordable housing reality for your seniors. It took a major effort on the part of our city to get this done. We learned um, to look for partners. I mean, if we hadn't had National Church Residences, the National Affordable Housing Trust, and strong political help from the state, I doubt we would have been able to. I mean, housing money is very hard to come by, harder than highway money, very precious. And we learned to build a coalition. We learned to work with our partners and um, focus on the, on the task. We learned that being stubborn 
is a good attribute in these deals. Well, our city's going to receive an award this Friday from our county uh, board, our county commission, and it's for outstanding leadership on this housing issue. It's really, um, I think, representative of the, the effort of the, of the town to make this happen. So there's a lot of people that are going to share in that. Pretty exciting for us. Um, there was a loophole in that agreement which allowed a new owner to come in and raise the rents and, and basically negate the provision that, that maintained low-income housing. So this new owner came in and from what I'm told, tacked eviction notices up on their doors in the middle of the night um, saying that their rents were going to be raised from 840 to I believe 1140 a month, which would of course put it, since these are low-income seniors, most of whom have nothing but Social Security or something comparable, would have basically put them on the streets or the bottom line is they would not have been able to afford to live there any longer. That was something that the city council found intolerable. They were extremely upset, as, as you would imagine they would be. In fact, I'm told, I don't know if this is direct, directly related, but some actually were, were made ill by this, um, which I can certainly understand if I, in a position of a senior with I'm low income, got an eviction notice taped to my door in the middle of the night, I would probably be, be ill as well. But they are very, very apprehensive, very concerned, and they were looking to the city to do something for them. At that point, we began to look at avenues to purchase the building. Um, we just felt that was the best possible solution for, for everyone involved. NCR, uh, National Church Residency, came in with a tremendous amount of money and a, a, a real willingness to help and to, to, to help facilitate um, the sale and transfer of, of this building. Um, we also got some monies from the county and from the state um, to the tune of, I think, about oh, a million and a half or so dollars altogether, and we took some monies from our rede redevelopment set-aside fund, um, that being the 20 percent of the tax increment from a redevelop pro redevelopment project that's set aside for low-income housing. Um, we use these monies to, in conjunction with NCR um, to purchase the building, and we, of course, have transferred it to NCR, which is now it's a 100-unit senior apartment complex that will be low income and low, therefore low rent in perpetuity, which is a, obviously a tremendous win for everyone in, in the community. There's no question of that. NCR emerged on the scene because um, I didn't know anything about NCR, but, but the city manager was aware of National Church Residency and has had dealings with them in the past, spoke very highly of them. Um, and I will say after, after the dealings that we, we've had with NCR, uh, so do I. Um, great organization to work with. Um, I can't recommend them strongly enough or highly enough. They, um, we, we need more entities like that, like, like NCR in this country. They've just, I, they've, I can't say, I really can't really honestly express the gratitude that we feel. It just, we're really, really um, elated that this has happened and we're very pleased to, to have NCR step into this role. The City of Pacifica and, and the NCR found in this instance uh, is a win-win for everyone. I mean, they're, they're, it, it's just a tremendous accomplishment, especially for, for our seniors. And, and to provide them with, with uh, permanent housing, and uh, permanent housing, low income for the rest of their lives, I can't say, say how much that, that means to them and to us. It's just a tremendous accomplishment. Well, the need for affordable senior housing is huge. And of course, that's just demogra demographics alone will, will, will prove that, that the need is only going to expand greatly as, as the baby boomers age. Uh, and, and not very, unfortunately, not that distant of a future either. It's, it's fairly close. Um, so it's, it's something that, that we really are going to have to focus on as a society, how to house our seniors, especially our low-income seniors, obviously. Um, and we need to be making larger strides in this effort, there's no question. Well, the Pacifica Tribune is the community newspaper for the city, and we're, we're generally involved in most of the things that happen here. But with the senior complexes, we'd always been writing about 
what goes on in them, the activities, special profiles on senior citizens. We've just been involved with all of the ones in town through the years. And when we heard that the new owners of the Ocean View complex had decided to raise their rent in the escalating rent market of the Bay Area and raise it above the level of the subsidy so that these seniors wouldn't be able to get their, their subsidies and would essentially have to leave, um, we were horrified by this in terms of, of the quickness of it and the lack of response when the city would ask the, uh, the owners. And so we started interviewing senior citizens and we, so when we put it on the front page of the paper that this, this had happened so the whole community would be aware of it. And there was technically no responsibility or requirement for the new owners of the building to do anything other than try to make as much money as they wanted to. For us, it was a brand new possibility, and the idea that the city of Pacifica as a municipal agency would use eminent domain to force the sale of this building, and then, and then the city manager, David Carmony, had, had lined up the possibility of, of National Church residences coming into Pacifica and managing it, it seemed like such a win-win situation. This was a really nice collaboration. It was a wonderfully interesting collaboration between a, uh, an organization with a tried and true record of National Church Residences that few people in Pacific had ever heard about before they came and became a major player in the, in the, the housing issue here in Pacifica. And the ability for the seniors to stay in their apartments, to be able to bring in new seniors to have subsidized housing, it was just a wonderful thing for Pacifica. And the Tribune editorialized that the city should, should bite the bullet and do whatever it could to make this project happen. Well, it was, a, it was a very trying time for myself personally. All I could think of is I'd go to a nursing home because I, you know, I, I need my family is here. This is my family. We all help one another. And um, I, I just, uh, I couldn't realize anybody could be so cruel, so thoughtless, and so greedy. And not only that, I, I, if they didn't put us out, I thought maybe they'd raise the rent so high that I wouldn't be able to pay it. And it just was a very bad time for me. Well, the middle of the night sneak attack notice, that was a shock for me and everybody, I think. Well, People in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s were told 30 days hit the road. They did give us an option to pay the full rent, but that's ridiculous because we're low income and don't have the money for that full rent. It was in effect 30 days, get out. Very, very mad, upset. I think the blood pressure went up. And then, I tell you, I didn't know what to do. Anger, fear. The fear went on for two years. All over this building, permeated the whole place because the housing doesn't have enough units, you know, for me to move, or I'd have to move to a place where it would be beyond my income. I just, I didn't have any outlet but here, to stay here. Well, everybody's upset. We had a few people who, who had little heart attacks. People moved. I mean, they, they were ready to just, they all panicked. And it was very, very upsetting. You've got to fight it. And this is what we did. I mean, we all got together and we fought this thing. Now it's over and I'm, I think uh, I am, and I think just about everybody here must be very grateful that you guys uh, have taken over this place. It's a godsend for us. The attitude, the, when, the day they took over, that was the happiest day. I, I felt just so relieved because it was going to be in the hands of someone who cares, people who care. And they have, they've come in and they've helped. They've, they've done everything. I see a big change already and they haven't started. And I'm very pleased, very pleased. But it's very nice, everybody's very accommodating. I have lots of friends here because I really don't have family. This is my family. But uh, as far as friends are concerned, the only friends I've made are here. And now, 
these are my friends, this is my family. And we all know one another and we kind of watch out for each other. For the National Church residents to take over this place is the best thing that's ever happened to the people in this world. I just, it was wonderful. It was just wonderful. And it was just, it was just, it was rebirth, you know. It was, I just felt so good. So there you have it. Another NCR success story and a victory for affordable senior housing. NCR communities have long spanned from Atlantic to Pacific, but it's here on the West Coast, where market rate rent truly is terrific, that the residents of Ocean View Apartments have a new lease on life.